Breaking news here from Charlotte Douglas and where an emergency crews now are responding to an emergency landing. Fox 46 chief transportation reporter Hawker Vanguard is live at the airport. Hawker, what happened here and what are you seeing? This Airbus A319 landed here at Charlotte. It was actually a diversion. It was a flight headed to St. Thomas from uh, John F. Kennedy International Airport. Um, I'll step out of the way here, and you can see that there are a few fire trucks in the area still, but the aircraft did taxi to the gate under its own power. We have video of the aircraft landing if we want to roll that. I can tell you after it pulled off the runway, uh, those uh, emergency crews did surround the aircraft. What they usually do is a type of scan that does show any type of fire or heat that may be present in the aircraft that might not be able to be seen uh, with the naked eye from the outside. So that aircraft was able to taxi to the gate. There was no fires. There was no incidents. No evacuations here. Um, but as soon as we know more, we'll be reaching out to American Airlines. We'll be sure to let you know. But we can tell you departures and arrivals running as normal here. This did come just right after a C-17 a large military jet had an emergency landing here for hydraulic issues of its own, we hear, uh, over the air traffic control scanners. That's under investigation as well, Paige. But we'll send it back to you in the studio for now. So can you clarify? I know that you've, you've seen, you saw the video. Uh, you yeah. were there live for the landing. We all thought that underneath there that did look like a fire. Was that just some type of landing gear light? Oh, yeah, like uh, the big bright lights on those Airbus aircraft underneath the main landing gear, uh, they're very, very, very bright, and those are the landing lights. But that's why those scans page are so important, because we can only see so much when those aircraft land. That, uh, that heat-seeking camera can really seek out so much that we might not be able to see. All right, one more quick question before you go, just because yeah. we have discussed before. I'm a scared flyer. I know if I'm at home watching this right now, I would be freaking out thinking if I were on a plane and this happened. Would the people on board have known? Do they let them know? Well, of course, they're diverting the flight, so they know that they're diverting the flight. But do they know why? And how common is this type of thing? So the cabin should know exactly what's going on. The flight attendants would know. They receive information from the pilot as to the nature of the emergency and uh, what type of steps they need to take in the cabin to prepare the passengers. Uh, it all depends on how much time they had, though. So it's likely they would have gone through a checklist in the cabin, explained to the passengers that this was possibly a hydraulic issue, and they would have maybe briefed them on a brace position in case something were to happen with the landing gear. So they would have known. Um, as far as how often this happens, it's 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 really hard to say. I know in my experience in the airline career, um, you know, I've experienced hydraulic issues before. It's what we're trained to do and handle. You have to keep in mind these aircraft have lots of redundant systems. The Airbus has at least three hydraulic systems to run off of, one on each engine, then then an auxiliary. So there's lots of fail safes uh, intact here to make sure these landings are successful and safe. Yes, and we are so glad that this was a case of a safe one happening there. Today. Hawker, thank you so much.